in this section we'll continue with our interval line routing concepts like if you remember in the previous method we have seen an old legacy method which is no more used because if you want to have interval line routing between two different uh, networks which again they are in different VLANs as well we need to have a physical a layer 3 device so but uh, in the previous example we have seen uh, a separate physical interfaces for each and every VLAN and the problem with that method is we need to have a separate layer 3 interface a separate physical interface for each and every VLAN so to overcome that next we will be using something called uh, sub interfaces uh, route round stick method now in this scenario we are not going to use a separate physical interface we are going to use only one common physical interface for any number of VLANs so which means if you have 10 VLANs still we can go with one physical interface connecting to router but what we need to do is when we use this physical interface now in that physical interface we are going to create multiple sub interfaces so sub interfaces are logical interfaces inside the same physical interface so it's it's logically separated but physically it's a only one link now we are going to create two separate physical interface separate sub interfaces for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 so dot any number it can be I'm going to use just simplification for simplification purpose I'm using 10 and 20 now uh, now what happens is now that in traffic come from here the VLAN 10 so the traffic coming from VLAN 10 now at the same time uh, the traffic coming from VLAN 10 here it will go to switch but now the question is what what about this port this port belongs to which VLAN like in a previous scenario we have used two separate physical interfaces each port belongs to each VLAN but now this link will be your trunk link the reason we have to configure this link as a trunk link is because the traffic coming from here it will go to this trunk link and if you remember we learned in the trunking concept that trunk link is a link which is going to carry multiple VLAN traffic now in this scenario also this link is going to carry the traffic coming from multiple VLANs why because if this user comes from here it will be forwarded on the trunk link also and then from that trunk link it will reach the router on the same physical interface and then it is going to revert back again on the same physical interface and the traffic is going as VLAN 10 and it is returning as VLAN 20 because the source address is VLAN 10 destination address is VLAN 20 now in that case it is coming back again as a VLAN 20 packet and then goes to VLAN trunk link again and the trunk link will ensure that, that the packet goes to only VLAN 20 now in this way we are going to do inter VLAN routing here so but the first condition is you need to have these two ports in the VLAN 10 VLAN 20 just like we have in, in a, every normal scenario but this link has to be configured as a trunk link with any of the encapsulation now, nowadays we just use dot one q encapsulation and now when any traffic going on this VLAN it is going to send as a tag VLAN 10 tag and when it is returning back it is coming with a VLAN 20 tag so anything going through the trunk link will be added with a tag and now this trunk link is going to differentiate the traffic based on the tagging and then it will ensure that that particular packet or a frame reaches to that specific uh, it goes to that specific VLAN but the condition is you need to assign a multiple sub interfaces here and that each sub interface should be will be acting as a gateway for every VLAN here and at the same time uh, you need to configure there are some specific commands for that we need to do some tagging here let's try to uh, verify this scenario here in this scenario we are using a separate so we are not using a separate physical interfaces just a one link with using sub interfaces so each sub interface serves as a gateway for individual VLANs and the router is connecting to the switch will be conveyed as a trunk link this link and this is often referred as router on stick now to implement and verify I got a similar kind of topology here where I got only one link connected and this is my router on stick lab and this is my topology which I'll be using now okay so just like in the previous lab we ha we already have these PCs configured with IP addresses where these two PCs are 192.168.1.1 and 1.2 and they are already assigned with a gateway of 192.168.1.100 which will be my gateways sub interface gateway for VLAN 10 so 
it's already done so I'm not getting into that PC configuration just ensure that you have this configuration on each and every PC similar way in all the PCs of the VLAN 20 you need to have this kind of configurations where you need to have an IP address and the gateway address has to be 192.168.2.100 because I'm going to assign that IP address on the router now the next thing the first step there are multiple steps here so the first step we need to create a VLAN 20 and 20 and we are going to shift the respective ports into that VLAN which means I'll start with switch here and I'm going to assign port number 1 and 2 which belongs to VLAN 10 which are connecting to my VLAN 10 users so interface range F0 by 1 to 2 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 and then interface range F0 by 3 to 4 now 3 to 4 are the interfaces which are connecting to VLAN 20 computers and then switch port mode access and then I'm going to say switch port access VLAN 20 so now if I verify show VLAN we just have a two VLANs and just two ports for testing now what's next now the next step is we need to configure this particular link as a trunk link F0 by 20 so let's configure that interface F0 by 20 which is connecting to my router we need to say switch port mode trunk switch port trunk encapsulation anyway default it will take dot one q so we don't need to define so when it doesn't take which means it's only support dot one q done so now if I verify show interface trunk I still don't see the trunk and the reason is this interface is in shutdown state why because by default the router ports will be in shutdown state so what we'll do is we'll get into the router configurations let's go on the router I'm connecting my one of my router 1841 series router here so uh, on the router there is nothing configured and by default this interface is in shutdown state which is connecting to switch 1 port number 20 I'll go to interface F0 by 0 and the first step ensure that your port physical port is in no shutdown state and in case if you have any IP address anyway in my scenario I don't have any IP address so I'm not going to use any IP address on my physical interface you need to have IP addresses only on the sub interfaces so in case if you have just remove it now I'm going to create a sub interface so now this is the one thing we need to remember to create a sub interface we don't need to do anything we just go to the interface and then we need to set dot f0 by the dot and if you use question mark you can see around uh, 4 million somewhere around that number that this number of sub interfaces we can create and you can use any number whichever the number you want but I I personally recommend you to use the same number whatever you are using whatever the VLAN number now in that in that way uh, we can easily remember which physic which sub interface is a gateway for which VLAN and then I'm going to say the first command if I say what is the IP address we decided so I decided to go with 192.168.1.100 will be my IP address so when I press enter here you can see there is a small message from uh, the IOS here and it is saying that configuring IP routing on the LAN interface sub interface only allowed if that interface is a part of any of the trunking protocol method now remember this point so before you assign the IP address you need to define the encapsulation and that encapsulation must be the same encapsulation what we are using on the switch now on the switch we are using encapsulation dot one q and if you press enter it's not complete command and then you have to use question mark and in that question mark we need to define this sub interface whatever the sub interface we are using belongs to which VLAN traffic because if you don't tell uh, these things then the sub interface will never understand uh, which sub interface should be a gateway for which VLAN now in this scenario what I'm saying is this sub interface is a gateway for this VLAN and it will automatically start receiving the traffic coming from VLAN 10 which means it will not receive the traffic coming from any other VLAN and by default it is going to receive only the traffic from VLAN 10 this is mandatory and then we can assign the IP address so remember here the order is important first you have to give this command in that this number must match the VLAN number whatever we are using here so that is mandatory and sub interface number can be anything but recommended to use the same number to avoid confusions 
and I'm going to use one more sub interface f0 by 0 dot 20 encapsulation dot 1q and the VLAN number which is for VLAN 20 and then I'm going to assign the IP address 192.168.2.100 done so now if I verify the sub interfaces they are in down state why because your physical interface is down I think I forgot to give no shutdown so when I give no shutdown if you see here now they are up so which means from the router I can I must be able to ping to my physical computers 192.168.1.1 so it will take some time I think for spanning tree convergence you can see it's still taking some time for spanning convergence STP convergence so now I should be able to ping so you can see I'm able to ping so it will just take some time for convergence to update because of the switch uh, you know spanning tree issues it will take some time now from the router I, I must be able to ping to each and every host in the LAN not really required to test because just to ensure that okay the connectivity from router to end devices are perfect and then now finally if I try to verify the communication between these two hosts between the different VLANs I'll go to any one of the host here 192.168.1.1 I'll try to ping to the host on a different VLAN and different network 192.168.2.1 I can see they are able to communicate without any problem and if I try to trace trace at command now I'll see the same result the packet first goes to 192.168.1.100 which is the sub interface of the router and then again it is going back again on 2.1 from this side so if you see the output there is no difference in the output in the previous lab and this lab the only difference is we are not using a separate physical interface instead we are using one physical interface which is again uh, active, uh, one physical interface and then we have multiple sub interfaces